Uh, let me let me tell you how this works, in case you you are not familiar. What Pep Guardiola does is he wins, he comes back the next year and he wins again, and then the next year, guess what? He wins again. That's how this goes. We that were in the Premier League, we are used to it. This is Crossfire and my name is Jidechi. Yes, the football season is back and we would be talking about the UEFA Champions League. Man City to retain their title or the rest of Europe to catch up with them this season. So let me start with Tosin. Tosin, who is going to be taking the Champions League this season? I know who is not going to be taking it. <laughs> who would that be? <laughs> I know that it's not going to be Manchester City. Ha. So, okay. So, so let me let me break it down like this. I think what Manchester City actually did last year was incredible. I predicted they would win the Champions League. Somebody here said the Inter Milan would win, but we all know how that happened. You know, with my uh, with my intelligence and my ability to dissect the <laughs> game, I, I saw it coming miles away. So let's look at it like this: winning the Champions League is one thing, defending it is another. And there are very very few teams that have been actually able to win back to back Champions League titles. One of them is actually the Great Real Madrid side. You understand that one, and also the the AC Milan side that won in eighty eight, eighty nine. So winning the Champions League is very, very. It's it 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 takes a lot. You understand. And for Manchester City, we are already seeing the cracks in the team. Kevin De Bruyne is injured. You understand. They let go of some certain key players. For me, I felt Ike Gundogan was a pivotal player on that team. He was literally their captain. Riyad Mahrez. A lot of people may say he's a squad rotation player, but he actually had. A lot of influence in that team. So I do not think they actually have the strength to actually repeat, especially because of the, the, the Premier League. I feel like a lot of teams in the Premier League have actually improved a lot. So that is my perspective of Manchester City. But who do I think can actually win it? And this is my honest opinion. I actually feel like this is Bayern Munich here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel can you can you calm down? Calm when down. I when I when I when I when I put you on my life and I breastfed you that Manchester City will win the Champions League. Well, what did, did you Manchester said City... it ahead of the final? Did you bring him <laughs> did, from the job? Did you, did you bring him from the group? Why? Thing? So so it's let me let me explain to you. Let me with my you with, explain with, with my this. with my superior knowledge about this thing. Thank let me explain you. to you now. So you look at Bayern Munich. I a lot of people look at Bayern Munich last season that they actually did not do well. They they lost to they lost to. Um, Manchester City in the quarterfinal stage. But I feel like they were actually just missing a target, man. Hmm. Number one, they got rid of the cancer in the team, in Sadio Mane. They got rid of him. That is a fact now. Nobody liked him. They didn't like the fact that he was the highest paid player on the team. Mane, I love you. You understand? They didn't like it and it caused squad issues. There was a lot... So you get rid of the player that a lot of people do not like. Like, take it... That's how you build team chemistry. They got rid of Sadio Mane. They got rid of the cancer in him. They bought him... A player with a proven record of goal scoring in Harry Kane. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you look at the 2013 Champions, the 2023 Champions League final, going to be played at Wembley. Similar to what happened in 2013 when Bayern Munich won at Wembley also. You understand? So th this team with, with Goreska, with Kimmich, with Leroy Sané, and with, with, with Harry Kane, and Thomas Tuchel is a Champions League winning coach. Definitely, mm -hmm. why not? Okay, Tunde, you've heard all he said. You laughed at what he said. Who do you actually think would win the Champions League since you don't agree with him that he's going to be Bayern Munich? That's a weird question. <clears throat> because even Thomas Luke, we would not say what he just said. But I will let it go. You are known to, to try a lot of rubbish. If if you had come here to say Real Madrid, at least I'll, I'll give you the light of day. I'll say, okay, they are 14 time uh, Champions League winners. They, are, they have a, you know, even though their score is not so that they can do it. If you said other teams, I will have listened to you. Bayern Munich, the same team that Manchester City dog walked over two legs. Uh, let me let me tell you how this works, in case you you are not familiar. What Pep Guardiola does is he wins, he comes back the next year and he wins again, and then the next year, guess what? He wins again. That's how this goes. We that were in the Premier League, we are used to it. The minute you have let him, that's where Europe fucked up. You should not have let him taste that Champions League. The minute he has tasted that Champions League. You just know that until, until he's tired, nobody else is touching that trophy. Not just 2023, 2024. I'm talking 24, 25. Maybe he's the only one you're asking me. I'm telling you that he can do a three-peat on this type of thing. That's a, a, a fact. We have this on record for the next No, I, I, did, did I start her? I did not talk in low tone like those that we was, not, we that was not, ashamed of the state. we will not when we come back. No, Allah. Look, let me just... Let me, let me. <clears throat> Europe right now, which teams are strong? There are Saudi Arabian teams that will win the Champions League ahead of Bayern Munich. 
<laughs> no, I can tell you for a fact. Barcelona cannot beat that Ilan. Over two legs. PSG. PSG that could not beat uh, that could not beat uh, uh, Lorient in, in the opening game. PSG are lining up with, with Kangili and and and, and Goncalo Ramos uh, as their strikers. They are not allowed to win Champions League. Or is it Bayern? Bayern will all of a sudden now win Champions League because they now have Hurricane, who, by the way, is known for not winning. <laughs> that's, that's the person that you are into your own purpose to come and win Champions League. The, my, not only, yes, yeah, City themselves have even got a recap because they too, they suffered from the Saudi Arabia effect. They lost marriage to, uh, you know, to, to uh, Al Akli. But beyond that, the rest of Europe are significantly weaker than City. And for that reason, the rest of Europe do not also have Pep Guardiola. So when you put everything I have said together now, I do not see a single team. Not one, not even Real Madrid. They don't have Benzema. They, do. they have Jose Luis. Jose Luis that will win Champions. Jose Luis that was playing for Stoke City and Newcastle some years ago. That will come and win Champions. That was literally playing for 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 uh, Alaves and Espanyol. So like I I don't see how Madrid will not run this back. Hmm. All right, Dustin. Let me come back to you. You said Man City will not win this this season. And I'm going to ask you, how far do you think they can go in this Champions League? As long as they don't win it. The point is that they are not going to win it. And let me explain. Tunde always see. Tunde is someone I, I, I brought up. Ah. I literally brought him up. I, I brought him up from the cradle. Yeah. So, so, but th that's neither here nor there. Wow, you <laughs> said rubbish and said neither here nor there. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> because he will make a statement and he will make a contradiction to that statement. He said that Guardiola, once he wins, he starts winning. Like, Guardiola was not my coach. We had... Arguably the greatest team in European football. And we did not do back-to-back -back Champions League. We won in 2009, got to the semi-final in 2010, then we now won in 2011. We, oh, didn't, win three, we didn't win three in a row now. Yeah, but have yes, three straight semi-finals. Mm -hmm. And two, two in three years. They sure did not win the next season now. Ababami, one plus one is two. Remember that last episode, I told you. <laughs> and one plus one is two. Don't forget about that one. So I'm telling you that Guardiola, yes, this is his first Champions League since 2011, actually. Do you know what that is? That's an 11-year gap. You understand? And given the constraints of the team, like I said, he's not, he has so much battles, especially he wants to do something that's never been done in the Premier League, which is way for Premier League titles. That's something that Sir Alex Ferguson never did. It will set him apart. So in the Premier League, you can actually make mistakes because it's a 38 game period. You can make mistakes and you can actually recover. In the Champions League, no, you make a mistake, you're out. And Man City, once they make a mistake this season, they are out. And for me, yes, they are, they are going to be in the later stages. But at the end of the day, I feel like some teams just have, especially Bayern Munich, will have somebody that they can count on for about 30 goals this season. Merchant, yes. In Harry Kane, Harry Kane has always scored 30 goals this season. <laughs> I have someone that can score 52 in 53 games. <laughs> you know, Put 52 goals on the I table. I actually <laughs> was going to ask you that question. Game changer for Manchester City. But you've, you've, Why you've, you you've said asking? an obvious answer. Let's see. With the exception of that player, who else do you think or which other players do you think could be game changers in that Manchester City team? In addition to the name you're thinking right now. Of course the name is Eliana. But which other player? Did you ask him which other Bayern player can be? <laughs> why do you know why was he only mentioned Harry Kane? Why he knows that they said Gnabry and Leroy Sadi? They might be asked him selling. No, but I know he's selling spaghetti in Unilab. I choose the questions I ask. I choose the questions I ask. And that is what I'm asking. Jama Musiala. Jama Musiala can be selling Jama in a coca for for all I care. Like, don't forget. Jama Musiala. Why you don't call him? Maybe you talk for two hours. Now. Why you don't call him? <laughs> Look, after after Eli Nalad, the next player, guess what? He's Eli Nalad. <laughs> 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 so after he don't call Eli Nalad oh three God. times, I will introduce you to World Cup winner and arguably the best young player that will come into the game. Is Julian Alvarez. Four goals at the World Cup. You saw what he did last season as a bench player. Now he has a starting role. That boy is going to cook. Kevin De Bruyne is injured, but he's not dead. You'll be back in three to four months. Kevin <laughs> Bruyne is still the best midfielder in the world. <laughs> Wherever you want to take it to. Then Bernardo Silva signing a new contract. Just Covadio, the best young defender in the world, at 77 million, just arrived. This Manchester City, I can't believe you are, you are making me do Man City PR yet. Because like, <laughs> it is everybody. This is common knowledge. <laughs> that Man City have players upon players. Upon players. Like, Greenwich, if Greenwich touched that in Bayern Munich today, they will, they will knight him. It will be they might make him president of Germany because they've not they don't have quality like that anywhere there. You know, you I mean watch Kiss Nicoma recently. 
this are the people that are doing it. <laughs> Ah, they started. They started that me. that DFL that DFL compiler. They started one boy, but it's still. <laughs> let, me you, let me tell you something, brother. You can still go to university. <laughs> that boy is not good. <laughs> These are the people that I come up with. You've heard the guys. You hear what they think. Manchester City or Bayern Munich, all the rest of Europe. Who would be getting the UEFA Champions League this season? Drop your comments down below. Let's hear your opinions.